your ability to go from draw to fade, keep divot depths good, keep the club face good, yeah. control trajectories, yeah. that's golf, right? Yeah. Or you could go back to draw and we could talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like, there's many forms of golf coaching and golf lessons as such, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we, for, for me, again, we've had conversations this week, haven't we, talking a little bit about... Quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> quite a few. <laughs> talking almost about different processes that we can go through as coaches to help our students get the most out of their golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And like, like you say, we've had plenty, we've had plenty of conversations. Yeah. I think the typical like lesson we see on a day-to-day -day basis now is pop yourself in, we've yeah. got an hour of booking, yeah. You hit a few balls. Yeah. I'm going to watch you hit a few shots. Yeah. If you've got some data, which you know, we both, both use data, yeah. we'll look at the camera. Yeah. And all of a sudden it becomes a, can we define it as a technical lesson? Yeah. I'm going to change your golf swing today and you're going to go out and shoot 62 tomorrow. Yeah. That's kind of flawed, isn't it? Yes. I, I, yeah. I just... it it's, it's the ones that we get in and it's like, they come straight in and they're in the bay and they're hitting balls. We haven't even discussed, is that going to make you better at golf? Just hitting balls, changing your technique. What, what are we here for? Are we here to make you a better golf? Are we here to change the looks or change the concept or ideas of your golf swing? What are we doing? Well, how funny is that though? How do you make a golfer better? Yeah, like, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> that's not for this, this, <laughs> no, this no. next video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for me, I think like to give a lesson, yeah. certainly you've got to be aware of your own like processes, right? Yeah. You've got to, and your own biases. Yeah. Certainly, I have spent time um, and I would say largely successful time. I would, yeah. I would say I've, I've spent time doing technical lessons, what I define as technical. Let's, let's change your golf swing. I'm yeah. going to rebuild your life, yeah. making the golf <laughs> worse. Rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> rebuild. Yeah, we don't like the word rebuild because it's not actually a thing. Right. It shouldn't be a thing. I don't even know why it is a thing. Winter rebuild. Winter rebuild is probably the worst marketing thing on the planet. Yeah. They spend the winter breaking your golf swing, shall we? And we've just spoke about the concept of, okay, the golfers that we're dealing with are not always a small percentage of professionals. It's often recreational players that have full-time jobs. So they're playing golf, they're practicing in between work. They're working eight hours a day. And for me to come to you and say, okay, we're going to rebuild the whole thing. How long is that going to take? Or is that even possible? It, well, I don't, it's mad, isn't what it? Is it? it uh, so, you know, a good friend of mine, he, um, a, a well-known golf coach, Hugh Marr, he, he once said to me, and you might need to beat this out, don't f*** with a man's leisure time. Yeah. Like, yeah. most of us are playing on the weekend because yeah. we, we enjoy, enjoy it, it, right? We yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. And then I go to a golf lesson on a Tuesday afternoon thinking, I just want to play a bit better golf on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And my golf coach says to me, let's rebuild. <laughs> like, how is that yeah. a thing? So for me, I, my, my coaching, the way in which I've definitely developed and I'll continue to develop, is I base my coaching surrounding skills yeah so you know if you're hitting balls i'm then going to challenge maybe firstly your concept yeah. of what you're trying to do so that's it it's, it's, yeah, it's balls, right let's get into you, it yeah you know what you've hit one ball today yeah a bit one yeah. <laughs> it's one ball today. yeah i'm in i'm the student now okay yes yeah, so so i've come but, in from a lesson but by definition you you'd be the elite level of our yes. students right yeah. because very rarely we get players at I would say still ad hocly, it's largely based on the higher handicap, right? We teach. 100%, yeah. Even yeah. if you base that upon two, three, four, five handicappers, yeah. Yeah. The, how you would do this would be different for the levels. But let's say you yeah. hit some balls. Let's, yeah, let's, so let's, let's we're going in. So, stock shot for you is? I like to see it go right to left. I mean, okay. Not, not much curve there. So, do we need to change that, really? I mean, that's gone straight, dead straight, hasn't it? You like to see it like slightly right to left, don't yeah. you? I mean, it's a beautiful golf shot, isn't yeah. it? But where's it gone in relation to where I'm aiming? I mean, it's five foot right. So, by definition, it's a great golf shot. Yeah, it's, tall, it's in, inside tour average. So, yeah. let's say, say that is really scenario, right? Yeah. Because this happens all the time. Yeah. Get a golfer come in, yeah. and we've had a chat about this, but yeah. I'm really struggling with my game. First shot's flush. Yeah. Second shot's flush. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me hit another. <laughs> <laughs> let me hit another. Come on, we're diving too deep there. Okay, the second one's flush. <laughs> <laughs> so look, the, the process I would go with, I'd say, look, you want to see a small draw. Yeah. Are you setting up, do you, firstly, do you understand the concept of a draw? Yeah. And we talked about it earlier, push draws versus the idea of just normal draws. Am I aiming right and just shutting the face? Am yeah. I moving path? Mm -hmm. 
there are multiple ways to shift a ball from a spin axis from right to left. Yeah. So by definition, we just have to align that what I'm going to talk to you about is what you believe as well. Because yeah. you might feel like to hit a draw, it's more sort of path under, mm -hmm. or you're just going to aim straight, get the face closed. There's so many different ways, right? So for you there, it's very much based on the individual. Of course. It, like, their concepts, beliefs of a draw, because there's multiple ways to, to hit one. Water. I, we could have a conversation about hitting a draw. Let's say by definition for a right-handed golfer is just very simply spin access from right to left. Mm -hmm. And as long as that player is starting the ball right of target yeah. and they feel comfortable doing it, it, it doesn't really matter how they're doing it as long as they, they can produce what they want to produce, right? There's yeah. certain boundaries. So from an address position, I would say, are you doing everything? Just as a question, are you doing everything possible to guarantee that draw bias flight? Yeah. Now, even in that scenario, do you think you did enough to guarantee the draw bias flight? Okay, so it comes back to setup. So the players come in, they're, 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 they've described the shot shape they want to hit, you straight to the setup. Well, they're set up to... I think it depends on the level. Like an elite level golfer, I'm going to check your concept. Yeah. By the way, do we understand the have physics of how to draw a golf? To do it, yeah. Which I'm going to go ahead and say, you do, to a yeah. certain degree, right? We've talked yeah. about it. Then I'm going to challenge your scenario and go, is setup strong enough? Mm -hmm. Like, is your setup as strong as you physically can do relative to your intent? To hit that. So that, have we got the forearm set correctly? Have yeah. we got the alignment set correctly? Yeah. Are you aware of where you're starting it? So let's hit another shot now, and I'm just going to say to you, can you be a little more aware of your intent? Okay. Like for this scenario, where would you want to, are you a player that's going to aim at the target, or are you going to aim at right of target? What are you doing? Yeah, so I like to feel a little bit right of that white flag. And I'm then your target, you're going to almost, so you, by definition now, you're aiming to, for your start line. Yeah. So you're not shifting path. No, I feel, well, what I feel what I'm doing is, okay, I'm, if I'm on a golf course now, I've got to aim right of that target. Because your club uh, face is? Is shut, closed. So you're not actually trying to shift path? No. So for you, what have you got to define? What, what's a successful draw then? You've got to right strike, and you better make sure your alignment's right. Because yeah. if you aim too straight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the ball's yeah. left. So yeah. in your scenario here, you better make sure that you're aiming far enough right mm -hmm. to allow the curvature. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, so if we go back to kind of recreational player now, it's like they come in, they want to hit this lovely draw, but they're set up like this. Amazing. Yeah. Where's that ball going to start? Yeah. So typically, what did you do there? Do that, go, go in again. Yeah, so in here, so balls forward, shoulders left, right See, shoulder hard. So here we go, and people are not going to like this, but your yeah. quick tips here are, where are your shoulders aiming? Where are your forearms aiming? Yeah. Way left, right? Way left. So just like, keep hold of it. Yeah. Let's say I now rear jug your forearms. Yeah. Face has done what now? It's opened. Okay, so we maybe have a bit of a conversation relative to grip and handle. Mm -hmm. So leave your grip where it is, yeah. loosen the grip. Okay, now re-jug, now pop it back on. Yeah. Now what feels different? The, the forearms and the grip and everything is different. The club face is straighter. It's every, so now we get a bit more of a conversation. So yeah. what I would definitely do is I would start off with intent, what they're trying to do, yeah. set up. Let's say I now set you up in the most appropriate fashion for a draw. We tick all the boxes, it looks great, mm -hmm. and you still can't hit a draw. Yeah. That's when the coaching begins. Yeah. But let's say, go on, just hit one again for me. Set, set one up there. You just want to see this ball fight. I just want to see it again, mate, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Just absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant golf shot. I think they're three of the best I've ever hit. Perfect, right? So that's so. Where do I go on that golf lesson? Okay, skill. Brilliant. That's so the next okay, so conversation. Yeah. You get three similar flights. Yeah. How many times are you going to do that on a round of golf? Very rare. Very rare. Very rare. So now let's have a chat about lowering the draw or yeah. raising the draw or even can Trey hit the fade when he needs to. Okay. So, so there's, I, there's different phases there that you, you you're trying to incorporate. So the 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 shot there, I'm hitting it. It's okay, perfect. Can right? I do it? lower can i do more curve can i do the opposite curve perhaps so for me and by this is the this is something i very much define myself on. i feel like i'm i'm a technical golf coach defined by skill every every superb golfer i've ever met every superb golfer i've ever met is highly skilled and they've got options right we're into a backdraft here really yeah. say this was a real life situation yeah. i would probably knock that down a little bit right yeah. But let's go again. So let's say let's I'm going to ask you to hit a fade. What would you do by definition? What have you done already? Just okay, by me saying. Already, I've put the ball position forward. I've adjusted my aim. So why have you done that? Because I'm trying to set up with the intentions to hit a fade. So how many recreational golfers do we see go yeah. from draw to fade would do that automatically? Not many. They'd try and move everything. Else. Brilliant. Yeah. But you've got to have the you've got to have the knowledge. You've yeah. got to move alignments, right? So it's understanding. Yeah. So, yeah. but what we're doing here is we're creating. In, to hit a fade, we have to have an intent. Yeah. Right? I want to hit a fade. You automatically, with that intent, shifted your entire alignment system. And the intent's in the knowledge and the setup then? 
Absolutely. Yeah. So for me, I've, I, do, I have three phases when I teach. Does the player understand the concept of it in Fatal Draw, which yeah. you clearly did. I said Fade, you shifted your baseline yeah. 30 degrees. Yeah. You even probably start to think about, I've got to feel whatever, right? You've yeah. got your own feels. Yeah. So you've gone setup. sorry, you've gone intent, yeah. you've gone setup, and let's say now, let's hit a shot. So let's hit one. Mm-hmm. So you're going to change your intent. Good luck, Trey. <laughs> Pressure's on now. Okay, fade. Okay, happy with that? Yeah, it's curved a lot, hasn't it? Missed it right. Definitely curves a lot. Yeah. Definitely a deeper divot. Yeah. So immediately now the coaching points I'm thinking about, okay, can we reduce curvature? Mm-hmm. Can we reduce divot depth? Yeah. So this lesson where I've just simply said, can you work on fades? You went flush draw, flush draw. When all of a sudden we're not working draws, we're working divot depths and curvatures on fades. Yeah. So now my lesson is based upon, Trey, do you understand the knowledge of maybe reducing divot depth? Because mm-hmm. that's certainly going to help the ball not sliding so far out the face, right? Yeah, yeah. And do you understand why it was over curving? Now that's one ball, but yeah. if we were hitting 10, 15 balls and we're seeing deep divots and a lot yeah. of curvatures, you're probably not <laughs> going to hit some fades out there today, here. <laughs> so it's almost that you've got to get the bigger picture. Again, that's one ball. How is the pattern over 10 balls, 20 balls, 30, 40? With the driver, with the hybrid, with, with the wedge. So with, it's skill. Absolutely. But Love it. your ability to go from draw to fade, keep divot depths good, keep the club face good, yeah. control trajectories, yeah. that's golf, right? Yeah. Or, you could go back to the drawer and we could talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about one degree difference. Yeah, man, love it. Yeah? Yeah. Good awesome. man. Cheers, buddy. Perfect. We're going to work on some fades. <laughs>